I'm Noemi. And I'm Veronica from, from the, the Palm View Branch Library. Our libraries are starting a new adult craft program called Grab, grab and go. go. This is a program where adults can come and grab a craft to make at home. Let's go over a few details about our grab and go craft kits. Each one of our three branch locations will take turns hosting the grab and go craft kits. There will be a limited number of these kits available every Wednesday at the hosting location. This week, Palmview Branch Library will be hosting the grab and go craft kit. Now on to our craft. Welcome, this is Grab and Go, and this week we're gonna do Message in a Bottle. For this week, you're gonna get a kit that looks something like this. Inside, you will find, first of all, a list of instructions, written instructions. In the front, you will find the name of the craft, in this case, Message in a Bottle. Also, you will find a list of items that's included in the kit, and also on this side, you will also find a list of items that you might need but not necessarily find inside the kit. When you open it up inside, you'll find the set of written instructions, okay? And so we're gonna take this step by step. So let's put this aside for now, and I'm gonna go through the stuff that's included in the kit. In the kit, inside we will find a glass jar. We will also find a package of sand. Now, since the kits are unlimited, the sand will come in a variety of colors. It's a first come, first serve, so whatever color you get, that's the color you're gonna get. <laughs> so let's put that aside. And we're also gonna get also a little Ziploc bag, and inside the Ziploc bag, we'll find seashells, twine, a pearl, and also a little glass bottle. But let's take these out one at a time. Okay, so what's included in the Zupala bag is a variety of seashells. Now, those will depend from kit to kit. They're all going to be different. Uh, also, one small little pearl and also a small little uh, message bottle like this. A paper scroll, just like this. Uh, two pieces of twine. One's going to be a long piece and one's going to be a short piece. What is not included in the kit is over here. That would be your hot glue gun and of course glue sticks. You won't need very much, but we have some there, some spare ones. A pen or a pencil. Pen would be uh, better. And some scissors just in case. So to follow along on the instructions on the kit, I'm gonna go ahead and start with step one that says pour sand into jar and add seashells. So we're gonna do that first. Let's go ahead and open up the sand and this is when our scissors are going to come in handy so let's open that up and we're going to go ahead and pour the sand in there okay now since this jar you can sort of tilt it you can do this sort of shake it and then it says to add the seashells and then step two says to arrange the seashells into a visually appealing matter now, um, manner so I'm just going to go ahead and place some seashells in there and sort of arrange them and it's nice that this jar has a nice wide opening which means that you can kind of stick your hand if you have a small hand like mine and stick your hand in there okay so at this point I've added my shells uh, step two also says to keep a seashell with the pearl for later so what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose one of these and I'm gonna decide that this is where my shell is gonna go, just like that on the inside. Now, step three says add miniature decor glass bottle with cork. So I'm just gonna add this one with the little message inside in there, okay? And then it says that on the miniature scroll, that's step four, write your personal message. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my pen and I'm gonna write my own personal message. So this is my personal message, little I love you to my husband, and I'm gonna go ahead and just start rolling. So we'll roll it like this, and we'll roll it like this. And he 
keep on rolling like this until it becomes like a little rolled up scroll like this. And this is when we use the small twine. And I'm gonna go ahead and tie it up. It doesn't have to be really neat, just sort of tie it like this. And it says to put that in there as well. Message at the bottom. Okay, now step five says to take the larger piece of twine and glue it. We're gonna glue it around the lid. Okay, so now we're getting ready to use the hot glue. Now the secret to using hot glue is to do a little bit at a time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just put a little bit of glue right here along the edge and then put down the glue gun and put in the twine like that and let it stick. And then do another little piece until I go all the way around and do it a little bit at a time. This helps not only because the hot glue tends to dry or tends to get cold very quickly, but also it helps to eliminate getting burned. So at this point, I've glued the twine all the way around. I went around about three times, if you can tell right there. And notice that when I started, I also left about, I would say two, three inches out loose at the beginning and by the time I ended up in the same place where I started it also left about two or three inches loose so at this point you can just take the two ends and basically make a small little knot like that and another little knot just to tie it off like that now at this point you can either leave the lens loose or you can trim them so that they look more visually appealing. Maybe cut them like that so that they're more or less even, like that. And there you go. Okay, so at this point we now have our lid. The top part may have some leftover uh, hot glue pieces. Just scrape them off, get up nice and clean. Now this is when we start working with our shell and our pearl. So what we're going to do is once again we get our hot glue, we put in a little dot of glue right there, and we drop our pearl right there in the middle so that it stays there. And this is when we're going to go ahead, the reason that I'm doing it this way is because if we do this, now we can decide in what direction we want the shell. Do we want it to point down or whatever? I want it to point it a little this way. So. I'm gonna add a little glue right there, and there we go. And I'll, I can put it this way so that it can stay. Okay, so this is our finished product right here. And remember that when you put it back, you can always open up the lid and rearrange it if you need to. But once it's closed, that is our finished product, and we're done. So hey guys, I hope you really like this craft demo. Uh, don't forget that the craft kit is going to be available at the Palmy Branch Library Wednesday, August the 5th. And if you're not uh, able to obtain one of these kits, uh, don't worry. Most of the craft supplies that we used were from the Dollar Tree. So you can always get those supplies and just follow this video to do the craft at home. Um, stay tuned for the following week where Main Library is going to be hosting the next grab and go. Until next time.